think it was four or five, two both champions, two of the best fighters in the world right here. Many think these are the two best fighters in the world. This is the match that everybody's been waiting for. What makes this fight especially interesting, even if Huas has a great fight, the Russian bear, well, neither of these fighters like submission, but the Russian bear almost has a robotic feel to him that he will never submit. No one has ever made this guy tap out, and no one has ever knocked him out. Huas is the same way. Tonight, that should be unchanged. The Russian bear known for taking... We're off with the fight. Huas in short blacks with a left jab. Takdarov watching. Trying to close the distance with a low kick. A right kick from Ro Huas. Huas is explaining something. Is he talking a little bit of trash? Takdarov already looks a little stunned from that jab. His eyes are a little glossy. It's a nice left jab by Huas. Huas, the he former heavyweight right. champion. Right Bak kick. Right kick from Huas. Takdarov looking to his corner for some instruction. Both fighters keeping their distance. Left jab missing. Immense concentration on these fighters. Takdarov with a strike, not connecting. with a left jab. Huas staying a lot more in front of Takdarov than he did in his last fight. He's ready to punch it out. Both fighters keeping their distance so far in this world super fight. Oleg Takdarov showing some unusual boxing skills, which a lot of people think he can't, he can't stand up and fight. But he's actually able to stand in there with the best of them. He's proven that here tonight. Dr. Rod said that he expected Huas to come out a little bit more aggressive tonight, but that would allow him to look for an opportunity to shoot. Yeah, he definitely wants to take Huas to the ground. Will Huas let him? That will be the question. Huas well versed on the ground, though, not afraid to go down, but knowing that he's clearly the better stand-up fighter. Oh, a, a nice spinning back this by Huas. Setting him up, setting up Dr. Rod. Laughing, smiling at him. That was edging him on, showing him the great boxing skills that he has. Doktorov doesn't stop though, he continues to move forward. Right jab. The left of Doktorov not landing any punches so far. A heavy right hand misses by Huas. Neither of the fighters have gone towards a clinch or a shoot so far. Talk to off would definitely with the left jab. Talk to off would definitely like to clinch sooner than later, but who else not giving him the opportunity yet? Talk to is a very strong guy. If he lands one of those punches, who else will be stunned? Who else in the short black trunk? Talk to in the longer one. The world super fight of Vali Tudo. Here's some blows exchanged by both fighters. Nice exchange it was. Both, both fighters connecting. Huas not giving Taktarov a chance to come in. Huas, the better striker of the two with the arms. These guys know each other real well. They don't talk very much to each other. Both men have very few words, but they understand each other, and there is respect in there for each other's abilities. Speaking with Dr. Rob earlier this week, he has tremendous expect, uh, respect for Huas. In fact, he feels that if he fights Huas, he can fight anybody. Yeah, whoever wins this fight is clearly going to be up there, possibly the best fighter in the world in my eyes. Neither fighter going for many kicks or any shoots. This has been pretty much a boxing match so far. Well under three minutes into the first match. Takdorov showing us some surprisingly good boxing skills here. Standing in there with Marco Huas, who's an amazing boxer. Right hook missing from Takdorov. Good slip by Huas. Huas now with the left connecting. 
Set it up with the right. Takhtarov looking as if he has had some punches. Land. Yeah, Takhtarov is no new man to being punched. He used to take an abuse, but takes it better than anyone I've ever seen. Oh, there's oh, and there goes Takhtarov. Who was with a strong right-left combination. Nice left hook. Takhtarov gets right back off the canvas. The Brazilian crowd shouting, Huas, Huas. Definitely the hometown favorite. It's a lot to stop the Russian bear, though. I'm not sure that that was a knockdown more than it was a fall down. Nonetheless, Takarov bleeding heavily over the right eye. Wiping blood out of the way. He did connect there so much for my knockdown theory. Another exchange to the face of Takarov. Setting it up with the right. Again, the, the, the Russian bear coming forward, but Huas is not going to let him go to the clinch. He's seen every best jiu-jitsu fighter in the world, and he is not going to let him clinch unless he let, wants him to. Another right, another left, only the left landing. Takhtarov trying with the right, not landing. Left jab by Huas, checking his distance. Dr. Rob will take any amount of punishment someone could give him. So far he's taking a good goes, goes for the attempted takedown. That was the uh -uh. first attempt at a shoot we've seen. Dr. Rob unsuccessful with that knee from Rojas defending it. Defending it well he was. What can we expect if this game, this fight goes down to the ground? A whole different style fight. But actually, probably I would expect a lot of abuse from Huas. Takhtarov taking it, working for the submission on Huas. That's where he's better. Takhtarov oh, getting some charging, in inside. Charging Char aggressively. Takhtarov not landing many punches, but being aggressive nonetheless. Huas working the jab. Oh, and in comes Takhtarov. Takhtarov Not a lot of boxing for schools, but a ton of heart. That time a right landed from Takhtarov. Takhtarov bleeding heavily over the right eye. Very patient still, though. Stands right in there. There's an exchange and a knee. A knee kick to the face. I'm not sure if it landed, but it's the set up by a fury of punches from Huas. Still very calm as Takhtarov, a very patient fighter. Just waits for his opponent to make a mistake, and Huas is well aware of that. Takhtarov will stand there with you all day, let you punch him, kick him, and wait for the opportunity. Takhtarov trying to come inside. He's two inches smaller than Rojas. And this has turned into a boxing now. Body jab. Boxing match definitely favors Huas. No question here. The heavy, former heavyweight boxing champion of Brazil, Muay Thai heavyweight champion. This guy can kick, he can punch, but he's very content with just standing in and punching. If if Takhtarov's going to stand in and punch with him, and go the clinch. clinch. Huas trying to get out of the clinch, but has to stay with it, and he does get out of the clinch. It looked as if Huas did not want to be in the clinch with Takhtarov. And he broke right out of it. Huas showing us some of his strategy. If, yeah, if he doesn't want to be clinched, you, he won't be clinched. Especially none of these, these guys are not wearing jeans here tonight. They're wearing shorts. There's not much to grab. Huas, back to the jab. Now a cut on the right bottom lip of Takhtarov. A oh. right hook just misses from Takhtarov. And it was a very strong, if that would have landed, Huas would have been in trouble. Although he can take a hell of a punch. Huas looking to swing, goes low. Exchange here right in front of Greg Friedman and I at ringside in Sao Paulo, Brazil for the Valetudo Super Fight Championship. 
Makarov doing amazingly well, believe it or not, standing in there with us. I mean, this guy is a pure champion, pure boxer. Makarov, not totally content, but willing to do it. He's not charging in as fully as he, as he normally would. Again, showing the respect for the punching ability of Hua. As well as the good defense with the knees. He tried to shoot earlier, and Huas was able to ward him off. There's a right hook and a left. Another right hook to the Heavy. body. There's a deluge of punches to the stomach of the Russian bear. Again, not landing on those two. Takarov. Takarov coming right back with the left right of his own. Not connecting, though. Just can't stand there and box with Huas this, thus far. Left jab with Huas. I would expect Dr. Rob to go to the shoot very soon. I can't tell if that is a cut that Huas has under his lip. I think it is just blood from his opponent. Yeah, normally, Dr. Rob will just charge right in on anybody, not risking, not risking much at all because of their punching ability. Huas is one of the strongest fighters, if not the strongest fighters, in Valley Tudo competition. Well, this is his art. Huas with the left jab. Distancing himself. Dr. Rob, little faint. The quick left jab. Little faint. Warding off Huas's attack. There's a right left from Huas landing on both, but only to the body. Huas definitely landing more punches and throwing more in this World Super Fight Championship. And for that, looks a little bit more tired than Takarov. Takarov very patient, not breathing heavily at all. Huas definitely the more aggressive of the fighters thus far, throwing lefts, rights, lefts and rights combinations. A left to right, a left to right again. Takarov going, going, trying for the takedown. He doesn't want to break. Oh, who lost with another left to right to break him loose? See, when you have two sweaty bodies on you like this, the clinch is, is really tough when you're fighting someone like Huas. Against anybody wearing a gi, he would hold him tight and throw him to the ground. But Huas, being strong enough and sweaty enough at this point, the Sambo champ, Oleg Takarov, cannot take him to the ground. So far, we're well into this super fight. It has been a boxing match with very few attempts at bringing one another to the ground. Takarov tried, but Huas was able to ward him off. Large right cut on the top of Takarov's right eye and on the bottom of his right side of his face. They're in the clinch. There's a headbutt from Huas. A headbutt. Huas loves that headbutt when he's down in the clinch. He comes up with the back of his head to hit his opponent's chin. Very effective and sometimes deliver a knockout blow. Another left right just missing by Takarov. He just can't seem to quite get his reign. But he's willing to stand in there. A left right and a right. A nice right by Takarov on the jaw of Huas. Left right, nice left right exchange by both. Takarov unable to land many of his punches in that fury. He did seem to get a few in on Huas. Just truly amazing athlete. These guys just stand in the ring, just keep going. No time limits. They're boxing. I don't know any boxers that could stand here and go. We're probably well 15 minutes into the, into the match, and these guys are just standing there. There's no timeout, no water drinks. These guys are tough. Very, very long match this could be. 30 minutes is the time limit. At that point, it'll go to a referee's decision, judge's decision. Both fighters keeping their distance, taking a breather. And here comes Huas with a left, a right, up against the rope. The deluge of punches, he landed two or three of those five punches. He's hitting Takhtarov awful hard here, but Takhtarov just stands right there. He just can't put this guy down. He's, he's like a George Foreman. He just stands in there. He's got a tremendous amount of heart. Dr. Rob trying to land some punches. That time he stood in and kept his face wide open for Huas. Dr. Rob with a Both standing, breathing, taking a little break here. Both of them with their hands down. One setting the other up. One of them's going to make a move. At this point, fatigue becomes a large factor. Dr. Rob, Dr. Rob challenging. 
everybody can see it and can sense it. Come on to the ground. Come on to the ground. And, and Huas says, okay. He's waiting for his time, though. You guys are talking to each other. You guys know each other so well. Left hook missing by Tokhtarov. Huas with a cut on the top of his head, bleeding down the left side of his face. Little faint jabs. A fake turnaround elbow. Huas talking a little trash, but I think it's all in respect. Yeah, both of these guys edging each other on a little talk. Hey, let's go to the ground. Hey, let's box. They know what they're doing. Interesting note about Tokhtarov. He was a professional businessman, quite a good businessman in Russia, and told us he quit because he loved to do what he is doing now in fighting. Yeah, an amazing story. Oleg Tokhtarov, very successful in and out of the ring. This guy is clearly a champion. Marco Huas. We tried to do an interview with him earlier, and he just says, I do my speaking in the ring, and he is sure doing that here tonight. If it comes down to a decision, if the fight were to end now, I'd have to give it to Hua. Yeah, Hua's clearly above on points. That jab and the right hook and the right straight is just nailing Tokhtarov. Not as often as he'd like to, but enough to, to definitely score some blows and give Tokhtarov a nice headache. Tokhtarov trying to throw the strikes to get inside and possibly go to the ground with Hua. Yeah. Just can't, just isn't able to do it at this point. Huas defending himself well with the artillery, the rights and lefts of the Brazilian phenomenal Vale Tudo fighter. Yeah, Tokhtarov very patient, waiting his time, says, I'll get mine. Go ahead, punch me. I can take anything you can throw, but when we go to the ground, it'll be another story. That's, that's the attempt here. A little faint kick with the left, telling him he's trying to bring Huas down. I don't think it'll be that easy. A little left jab. Tokhtarov not landing, just setting up his distance, trying to go for the shoot. Both fighters being patient. There's nice a nice hard body shot. I could feel that from here. He threw that wide and hard right on the ribs, but Tokhtarov just keeps coming. A left and a right from Tokhtarov to the body of Huas. Not landing. The jab, a couple three strong. Right jab's not connecting too solidly. Who us? Who us? Is the chat? Is the crowd is chanting? Talk to a little bit out of his realm here in Brazil. So far, a boxing match. We're well into this fight. The left from. Tokhtarov barely landing. Huas now with the knee. Tokhtarov holding him tight. Tokhtarov going for the tight. takedown. Looking for the oh. takedown. And he's Ooh. brought back outside, pushed outside by Huas. He was willing to let him loose and take a swing and went for the hard punch. That was very unusual of Tokhtarov. And he had someone in that position. Normally he will throw him hard to the ground. Two sweaty bodies, hard for the takedown. A great fight thus far. Just what people expected. Dr. Rob, the Russian. These Valley Tudo matches are usually so unpredictable. Tonight, there has just been a great, great story of what people wanted to do, coming in, and doing it. Of course, after this fight, we'll have the finals of the round of eight. Between Vernon Tiger White and Pedro Rizzo. There's a right knee to the face of Taktarov. Marco Huas showing his power. Dr. Rob's face quite bloody now. Cut over the right eye and the lower lip. Huas, couple left jabs. Excuse me, right jab. Little sweep kick from Tokhtarov and hook back in. There's a right side kick from Hua. Both fighters talking to one another. There's a left jab connecting on the nose of Tokhtarov. There's a right kick. Tokhtarov just not able to get inside, Greg. 
Back to the punch again. That was a punishing right leg kick by Puas to the leg. Oleg not wanting any part of that. Trying to go back to his boxing game. Keep control, keep Puas fighting his game, which is fine. He's boxing him. He's not taking too much abuse. He's taking some shots, but he can take him. He can take him. Waiting for the opportunity. Let Puas tire and hopefully take him down to the ground. A little right jab toying with Taktarov. A side kick, ineffective. There's a kick that hurt from Huas. To the left thigh of Taktarov. I could see the welts from here already. Another right kick from Huas. Taktarov's manager in the corner here yelling, stop the fight. Is another kick. The face of Taktarov full of blood. Taktarov wanting to know the time. Yeah, Taktarov wanting to find the time, how much he has time to survive in this match. Because so far, it has been all Marco Huas. It's kind of a gentleman's agreement here that the, the powerful leg kicks of Marco Huas can pretty much break down a tree. And he's been very gentleman-like not to punish the legs of, of the smaller, quick right not sweep, as good almost kicker took Taktarov down. as Ola Taktarov. Puas now stalking his prey. Taktar standing in, throws a left hook. Not afraid to stand in there. Right kick by Taktarov. Taktar throwing a round kick. again going inside, but Puas able to ward him off with a fury of punches. In Sao Paulo, Brazil, the world super fight of Vale Tudo. We're seeing the bloody face of Oleg Taktarov, which is, it, it, which, isn't, which is very typical for him. The kick almost took Taktarov down. Stalking and talking, stalking and talking. Puas now going to the leg kicks, which could be big trouble for Taktarov. He has the power to break a leg with those kicks. If he connects hard, which he's kicking like halfway on those. Taktarov rubbing his leg, not wanting a whole lot to do with that. Puas going for the knockout, throwing a left right, stalking his prey. But Taktarov comes right back to the middle of the match. I'm ready here for you. I'm right here. I'm right in front of you. Taktarov, his kicks just aren't able to do anything. Taktarov, the heart of the bear, it's definitely showing right now. That's why they call him the Russian bear. Huas sending up with the leg kicks and then coming with the furious punches. Here's another right kick. These kicks just don't able, aren't able to do anything though on Huas. Huas, a Muay Thai heavyweight champion, kicks as hard as anybody in Valley Tudo competition. Muay Thai combines kicks, punches, knees, and elbows. And, the, and the, the big part of it is those back leg kicks. You can see in the back of Oleg's leg, it's nice and red. If Huas wants to, he can probably kick and break that leg right through. Left jab, right kick. Oh, a nice spinning. Heel kick to the head of Taktarov misses. 
who are showing a lot here that people have never seen before. Just pure boxing ability, not going to the ground. Very few people in Valley Tudo competition are able to keep someone from taking them to the ground. Here comes Talk Drop coming with the flurry. Coming in Flurry going to try for the takedown again. Who us doesn't allow him to do it? Talk Drop trying to get inside, using his strikes as a defense as he makes the shoot. Who us just saying whatever you want? Talk Drop standing there thinking, what's my strategy? How could I stop this man? How it can Talk coming. How can Talk Drop get inside? He needs to. He needs to counter punch. Get inside, make part who else miss, go for the clinch, and stay with it. And that's the hard part, especially with sweaty bodies like you have right in front of you. Well into this match, easily 15 minutes into this match. Nice punishing leg kick by who else to the thigh of Talk to Rob. Takarov just looking at him, hoping to find a way to go. High him. right. And Huas puts a high kick to the head. Does not go though. Cannot connect. See, the tough part about this for a normal, natural grappler is when you fight a good puncher, if he's able to keep you off and not let you get your body to body, as they call it. That's what you want to do here as a grappler. You want to get your body on their body to stop from the punches and the kicks. And if you're able to do that, it could be your fight. But he's unable to do that against Huas here today. And a right kick by Huas. The left leg of Takarov taking quite a punishment. And evidently, his face is too. He got a cut on the top right of his eye, lower lip. Still the heart of the champion, he stands right there. This guy's not, guy's not about to submit. Dr. Rob down on the ground, ground, falling backwards. Huas going in for the kill. This is what Dr. Rob wants, though. Oh, surprisingly, he gets back to his feet. Is there a possibility that he didn't want to go down in that fashion? He wanted to bring Huas down with him. Yeah, actually, that's one of his styles. He's not afraid. He likes to lie on his back and pull you down, egg you on. Come on, get me on the ground, because that's where he is the best. There's a right sweet kick. Rob doing a good job of keeping his balance on those kicks. The Russian Bear's face is real bloody at this point, but it doesn't even seem to affect Oleg. He's thinking a little bit more now. But he's still waiting for his opportunity, picking his shots, waiting for who else to make a mistake. That's his game plan. Who else make a mistake, and I will put you in pain. So far, who else has fought a, just a beautiful fight. No jab landing from Takarov. Who else looking to close the distance? There's a kick. Takarov looking to close the distance now. Yeah, picking, he's just picking right where he has just enough range. He's trying to stay out of the jabbing power of Who else? Takarov a jab, a nice heel kick by Huas. Never seen that in one of these competitions. Usually people really try to stand basic with a front, side, and a round kick. Huas dancing around the ring, throwing us, all, showing everybody all kinds of stuff. A real fan pleaser. Heel kicks, spinning kicks, round kicks. This guy is really a complete fighter. 1995, the Japanese press voted him the most complete fighter in the world, and he is sure displaying that here today. Huas setting it up with the jabs and going to several different kicks tonight. The last kick we just saw, there's a right kick. He's sticking and moving now, sticking and moving like he did in the first fight. He's been much more aggressive than he was here in the la since his last fight. He had something to prove here, and he is definitely proving it today. The left right combo misses. Pakarov still right there. What a champion himself, standing right there against one of the hardest punchers in Valley Tudo competition. And he stands right in front of him. Here I am for you. Here I am. And he's taking punishment for it. But he will not go down. He will not give up. Right down. 
Rockruff trying to get the punches in, but unable to do so. Yeah, just can't find the range. Tuas just has too much boxing experience. He's got that range picked out just perfectly. Left jab, mid center, right yep. jab. Right kick to the knee. Of Tokhtarov. Yeah, he's starting to feel it in his knee. He's trying to stay off that. He doesn't know what to do. There's not as much of a defense when you haven't trained a Muay Thai to defend against that. Kicks are cut a tree and a half. The leg of Tokhtarov has to be feeling it now. Coming near the end of this fight. The look on Huis' eye. He's stalking his prey. He, he wants to finish him. He's got a strong right hand. Tokhtarov goes for the takedown. Huis able to keep him off. The only way Tokhtarov's going to be able to leg leg. fight. And, and there goes Tokhtarov. Tokhtarov able to... Tokhtarov able to mount Huas. He's in the half guard. In the half guard, Tokhtarov. Both resting, thinking, picking their spots. He found the he found the weakness on that leg sweep by Huas. Yep, he's waiting the whole fight for it, waiting for that one opportunity to take him to the ground. He's done it. Good, Hu Good. Huas throwing some body shots. Tapping, banging to the back of the head. Both fighters too near one another to really get any strikes in. Huas trying to remove the hook. We do have a 30 minute time limit in this fight. If it goes beyond, there will, they will not go to the cards. This is either a decision or no decision in this fight here today. And they're gonna call it to time. That fight ended anticlimactically in the fact that Taktarov brought Huas down. He found the weakness he was looking for, but just ran out of time. They had gentlemanly hug, professional sportsmanship. Truly two champions in the ring here today, two great fighters hugging, respecting each other like nothing I've ever seen before. These guys could beat anybody. That's why we put a 30 minute time limit on this one because we knew if these guys could go 30 minutes, which they did, these guys hated each other before this fight, wanted to prove something to the world. Who was proved it? Tokhtarov proved it. They're both still champions. We still have the decision to go, although uh, there will be no decision in this match. So a fine display of Huas Valetudo from Marco Huas in the Valetudo World Super Fight.